Uh, this is the photo I'm working from. And so uh, it's got a big red barn in it and it's got a lot of green in it. Um, red and green are two of my favorite color combinations because they're complements and they tend to make each other look uh, better. ready to go. The colors that I'm using today are uh, white, burnt sienna, cadmium yellow, ultramarine blue, and black. Not sure that it's cutting it with this brown. I think I made a little bit of a mistake on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape some of the paint off instead of waiting for it to dry. When I when I look at this at this photo. I can see that this grass here is um, is a lighter value than the red barn. So that's one of the first things that I want to establish. Sometimes I spray my board a little bit with some water. And it makes the you have this little sprayer, and it makes this uh, it makes the paint spread more easily. So I, I think that's better. And so the next thing I'm going to do is work on the color 
and the value of the barn. So I This is the brush I've been using. This is a Scholastic brush uh, bought from uh, Dick Blick. It's got a blue handle. It's it's actually meant for um, kids' classes, but uh, I like it a lot, and so I use it. And then this other brush that I'm using is a Princeton brush, which is a, a really nice uh, brand of brushes. This is a a, uh, a flat and uh, it's called a flat because it has that um, flat edge on it and I like the way it kind of pushes the paint around so anyway that's that uh, so what I do is I usually keep uh, moving around from color to color All right, so I let this thing dry for a while. Spray it a little bit with water to make the paint move better. That's much nicer.
All right, so that uh, that about wraps it up. Um, I just wanted to explain some of the things that I did. Like, for instance, in here, I wanted it to be, since the trees are far away, I wanted the where the uh, trees meet the sky to be softer because you wouldn't see that as clearly. Um, and the, uh, the grass in here is a little bit lighter because it's farther away. Things tend to get lighter and, um, uh, and a little bit more gray as they go off into the distance. Um, this is how I did the, uh, where I did the tops of the uh, grass or whatever that is. Uh, and then there are shadows in 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 the um, in the bushes, and that's how I did that. And then it's usually dark right around here where it's real shady. Um, and the same thing with this. Um, the sky, I wanted something. I made this darker over here because I wanted something over here because otherwise it felt like an open space to me. Um, so, uh, that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.